With Jill, with Owen, it's Night Shift. It's season two, and we're gearing up for yet more mayhem in the ER. Describe, let, let's start with your character, Jill. Jordan Alexander, she is a real tough, uh, very good ER doctor. She cut her teeth in Baltimore in one of these hospitals that is known for uh, a lot of shootings and you know, it's an inner city tense place. Now she here, she's in San Antonio, um, working in another intense situation. She's she's great at what she does. She loves what she does. I want a bit of background on your character. Well, TC is a Sagittarius. Uh, <laughs> he likes long walks in the beings. So, uh, well, well, TC, TC and Jordan actually both worked in a hospital in Baltimore, but TC's done a couple of tours in Afghanistan. It's an army medic, and he's been beyond the wire, and he's kind of been in an awful lot of situations. His brother was in Afghanistan with him. And his brother died, and he saw his brother die, and then he's come back from that, and he's suffering from PTSD. Two of you, particularly, so timely with what is happening overseas. What, what do you get from from your fans? You know, I've been uh, reading a lot of input coming from fans that they are happy that we are actually touching upon something like PTSD, which is, you know, it, it can be a very crippling thing. It makes it very difficult for people to move forward in their lives or even to just exist. So. The fact that we're talking about it and it's opening a dialogue and that we are showing, we're going to show or trying to yeah. show that you can survive and move forward. The, the, the side stories in this ER at night are really hitting current events, which are, uh, what have you learned? Just a couple more questions for you. What have you learned that you didn't know about the medical profession and, 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 and everything surrounding it? Well, what. I mean, the medical profession, I mean, geez, we're learning an awful lot about that, but I think with what's really interesting about this show is, you know, there's a lot of fun to it, and it's got a lot of action, but they also have a lot of very interesting storylines that develop, which is also, which is really important, as it says, opens a dialogue, not just a PTSD, but a lot of kind of social things and topical things, to do with relationships, to do with kind of sexual violence and, and, and abuse, and to do with all sorts of stuff. Human trafficking. Human trafficking, yeah. everything, and I think that's what's actually really interesting about the show, because you get to explore all that at the same time as it being you know, a dramatic entertainment show. But you get to have some really interesting storylines through it. We show sort of a window into these different parts of, um, I guess the underbelly that you would find in any city, things that aren't necessarily fully discussed. And we, it's not like we're trying to hit you overhead with a specific opinion, but we want to open up the dialogue so that people can have a window and see into this. Um, but you're, you know, what's amazing is that you're working in an ER, you're really dealing with humans at their worst moment. And you have to be able to step in and have a heart, but still protect yourself. 